Hey guys, today I'm going to be trying to convince my wife that it's a good idea to send our kids to public school. Public school? Hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, honey? I don't know about public school, but... So we decided just to have a little conversation, and I think Ben is going to take the kids shopping a little later. Yeah, today. Um, but... <laughs> okay, do you know what's out there? What? All the craziness going on in the world. And trying to put our kids in public school with all that yeah we can't hide them forever we can't always keep them at home mm -hmm. you know what i mean they're gonna have to face reality at some point and like i i know i tended to be the one that was like homeschool 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 because i was homeschool right and you weren't you went to public school i turned out all right better than jory for sure <laughs> <laughs> she did oh. <laughs> so I do think about myself as being somewhat like slow when it comes to social situations. You're not slow, baby. Not maybe not slow, but I don't pick up on cues as well. Not as, some as people. easy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think I want my kids to be sharp when it comes to that. That's why they got their mama. Yeah, but you won't always be standing next to them going, ah, this is what they meant when they said that. <laughs> You know what I mean? But I can teach them when they're at home. You know, in terms of like building some friendships and uh, having other teachers too like i know that as they get in the higher grades i'm gonna probably struggle teaching math or whatever the concepts For might real? be i don't think so i think i i honestly think you're just you've grown tired of teaching this year is the first year jory's teaching all by himself right like yeah i i would do and you're like, right i don't like it <laughs> i mean i I, I would do a couple of subjects in the evening but or sometimes and i haven't done them in a while because life has just been crazy but mm -hmm. he teaches Every day. Yeah, I, I get up. We uh, I start with Javen and Bella at six in the morning. Yeah. So that we can get up ahead of Ellie mm -hmm. and get like a good hour and a half, two hours before she gets up. Yeah. Um, and then we probably go till like ten mm -hmm. at the latest. Comment down below if you're a homeschooling mom. Do you homeschool if you're mm -hmm. if you're a mommy? Um, do you send your children or a to dad school? or a dad a public <laughs> school or a private school or right. like right. let us know what your thoughts yeah, are. What 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 do you do and what How's it going for you? Mm -hmm. What's worked? What would you rather do? What are your thoughts? Yeah, what I was saying is I think you've grown weary of it. Because if I would say, honey, it's okay. I'll teach them. What would you say? I wouldn't want you to. Really? Yeah, no, I wouldn't want you to go back to doing it. Because you did it a long time. Why? Because of what you've experienced now? Because I just like feel, yeah, I feel like it's, you know, it was never really your vision to no. do homeschool no and and while you val i know you value being able to influence our kids in a godly way and yeah you know those things we valued about having them at home like we wanted to be the first ones to tell them from our worldview how to view things yeah because for sure when they get out there there's going to be plenty of influence telling them all kinds of things and so we wanted to have that first opportunity but now it's to the point bella's 12 jabin's 10 yeah. Like they need to get out there. They need to build friendships. They need to start getting a footing for themselves out mm -hmm. there. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, I feel like now's the time for that to happen. No, I don't think I'd want you to teach. Uh, I feel like you need to do other things. Like you have, we talk about this a lot. Like Biname didn't really have a childhood fully. She was already like res being very responsible at a very young age. She wasn't yeah. allowed to play around, wasn't allowed to do a lot. It wasn't that I wasn't allowed. It was that... Like, yeah, my parents were strict. Yeah. yeah. And then even back in Africa, when you were living with your aunt and uncle, yeah. that was a hard childhood. So, I mean, it's not to say that your parents didn't try, but shoot, when you got nine kids and, you know, you come from a very strict background, you know, the culture was strict. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So I don't want you to have to be stuck at home like you have been for a lot of our marriage. Like mm -hmm. I would be working and Ben would be at home like a lot. Yeah. And so, no, I don't want that to keep going. Is it because of what you've experienced in the classroom that it's hard? Or like what is what is changing your mind or your thoughts? Just our conversations over time. Yeah. And like, yeah, that's what it is. I wouldn't want you to have to go back to doing that. I would feel bad about that. I don't want that to be the case. But what if I came to you and said, honey, I really want to homeschool. What would you say? I would probably question that. <laughs> I'd be like, what's going on? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I did it. To honor you too, like yeah, because it was what I what wanted. You wanted yeah. yeah, yeah, but sometimes I wonder if it's the best thing, you know. It's. I think it's it's a good thing, but yeah. I think like, I don't want people to take this the wrong way. But I'm just gonna say, if you if you know us, 
and you watch this, don't be salty, okay? But I'm just gonna put it out there. But I'm gonna just say like how it is. I feel like homeschool works when you have a community, like support system. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have friends or if you, when you have family that are able to go, wow, she's been with the kids like this whole time, mm -hmm. let me step up and yeah. help or whatever. That's when homeschool is amazing. But like when you don't have the support system you need as a family unit, it is really difficult. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And so like we don't have that. Not that family members are bad, but everybody has life. Right. Like yeah, their yeah. life that they're living. So it's like. Yeah. And I would have, I actually, yeah. I won't say too much, but I, I kind of would have expected more from those in the family who know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, who know what the struggle is. The struggle and is like, real. And yeah, things definitely didn't turn out as I had anticipated. Yeah. You know, you're sold something as a child. You grow up and realize that ain't how it is. <laughs> but, I mean, we are doing the best we can for us. And that's yeah. where we're at. We're, we're saying, what do the kids need now? What, what will prepare them for life as adults yeah. in this world as believers and, you know, yeah, I think it's time that they at least have like a soft entry into society, which and this well, is a small Christian right. school yeah, yeah, yeah. that we're considering. So it would be like a soft entry into the world. And what <laughs> works for that was that's a big thing that we've learned too. like what works for us as a family unit, not mm -hmm. what other people right. yeah. put on us. Yeah, it's something we've yeah. had to learn that we have to be comfortable carving out the way ahead of us. Mm -hmm. and and looking at family from us forward yeah where we may end up being the patriarch and matriarch of the family, oh, the family because yeah. some of those things we weren't able to build yeah you know further back down the line yeah so, so yeah we just kind of want to touch base with you guys we've been yeah. busy our lives have been here and there and yeah vlogs haven't been consistent and um i feel like we haven't really sat down and <laughs> in a sorry while, guys but um yeah, we're still okay. We're okay. We're okay. Life's <laughs> been going crazy. I'm still going hard at the gym. I'm yep. whatever. Yes, she is. Um, she crawls out of bed every morning at 5 a.m. I don't know how she does it. <laughs> Jory's <laughs> like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we're still here. We're still going. I was busy with some courses I was taking, so that took me away from really focusing on YouTube, on truly focusing on it. Yeah. Uh, and then trying to land on what we're going to do with the children next year. Right, like yeah. School there's, year. A lot of, there's a lot of things. We have a lot going on. Yeah, and thinking then, about the economy the way it is. Y'all and... coming down below to say, Blake, it's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. We're like, all right, we got to figure out, we got to plan our trips to town better. We got to do like 10 things at once rather right. than taking 10 separate trips. Comment down below. <laughs> Where are you at? Yeah. Yeah. I'm driving my old junky car again because it gets better gas mileage. And I'm starting to drive the, <laughs> the pilot, pilot again. Yeah. So there's that. And you're working on fixing up the laundry room. Yeah, like, that's right. Yeah. So I've been painting. And we're been... still renovating the house. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot going. There's a lot going. Yeah. Looking for a church, sort yeah. of, kind yeah. of Yeah, so we have, we have like loose affiliations with a couple different groups. Mm -hmm. And... um. We love them. They're awesome. Mm -hmm. um, we're just trying to fight and kind of what fits for us. Mm -hmm. so. so, guys, we are here. Thank you for the people <laughs> that are watching us. Yeah. Watching everything that we put out, we really appreciate you guys. Yeah, you guys and rock. Thank you for bearing with us. Um, there's There's been a lot going on. Yeah, and you guys know what it's like raising kids. Yes. Dealing with everything that comes with being a young parent. Decision and, making, yep, yes. Yep. Ellie is all over the place. Oh, my word. She's a character as usual. But she's funny. She is. She's Eliana hilarious. Eliana is hilarious. She is sharp as a tack, too. <laughs> Nothing gets by her. No. <laughs> we were sitting here the other day. I was like, some people just... And I said something, and I was kind of making an underhanded dig at Ellie. At Ellie and she picked it up. She She's like, it. Daddy, do you mean me? I was dying. I turned around. I was like, this child is not playing. Yep. No games. Yep. <laughs> I was like, she's just like her mom. Cuts right through the nonsense. Show sure does. <laughs> what you trying to say? What are you trying to say, Dad? Yeah, say it. Say it. Show <laughs> passive aggressive self, Dad. <laughs> That's my girl. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And then we were sitting here the other day and not doing anything, talking. Ellie was like, what did she say? Everybody's bored. Everybody's bored. <laughs> she's a character. I lost it. And she was, so we asked her, well, what do you want to do? 
She's like, go get some ice cream and watch a movie and paint. <laughs> oh, anyway, I have to go take the children to uh, do some shopping for a concert. They're involved in some sort of choir in mm-hmm. our local area. Yeah, here. they have their concert coming up for choir. So we got to go shopping, you guys. But They're always around here practicing their choir songs. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, but it is overwhelming. Mom, hear the song. Mom, hear the song. But um, yes, we well, just wanted to touch base with you guys. Yeah. Really. So yeah, I'm just trying to convince Benjamin that the kids should go to public school, Bruh. private Listen, Christian school. I can I can deal with the private school, but the one we looked at is mad expensive. It is. Yeah. So we got to figure out if it's even feasible. Yeah. After we find out if they're accepted, then we got to go through like financial aid stuff and see if it's even an option. So, yeah. For chatting with us, guys. Ah! At Burlington, right now, looking for stuff for my children. They have choir and they have some sort of performance coming up. Like, comment down below if you are a mom and you have to do all these shopping once in a while for your kids' activity. Seriously. Yeah. So, they need some white shoes, some khakis, and a white top. So, that's what we are doing. That is what our morning has been consistent of. Running some errands. Yeah. You want to see them? Guys, I was going to get a charm. You're gonna get a toy? And Ellie's shoes, like, look at them, beat up. They get so dirty because the children put on the wrong shoes. Instead of putting outside shoes, which is darker, they put on her nice shoes. They're not thinking. So then it gets dirty. I'm like, ah! And then their kids are growing so fast. Like, Jabin, I think he's getting ready to hit a growth spurt. So, like, there's a bunch of, um, changes and we have to throw out a bunch of jeans so <laughs> not throw out but sell um yeah so now i'm looking for more stuff for them so now we are at a different shoe store and Javen's trying on some shoes this turn this way these these barely have any space they just look big they still look big what size is that this is eight but that's it, it barely has any space My but buddy, right there. your foot is like pushed all the way up there and you you are like at a different place now, trying to find Javen some shoes. Y'all, it's been a morning. It's been a morning. Busy. Okay, so I think we I think we got him some white shoes. Okay. And then we need to still find other stuff. So we are stopping for a quick bite to eat. It is past lunchtime. It's gonna be two o'clock in like two minutes. And the children are hungry. Mm-hmm. Ellie, are you hungry? Yeah, everybody's hungry. It's, a, it's, a, it's been a long day, but it's been a good day. This inflation stuff, comment down below. Where are you experiencing inflation? Like, isn't it crazy, y'all? But we thank God for his provision. Amen. Hallelujah. We are having our lunch. Ellie got a happy meal. Can you say happy meal? Happy meal. <laughs> and I got a toy. Yeah. You want to get Yoshi. And a quack And I'm having a chicken. Sandwich. Since I'm a hungry person, I asked mom if we could get a triple quarter powder. It was like a special order, and they actually yeah, did Bella's it. girl. And she ate her entire food. Yeah. Bella put mustard on that. Girl, I wasn't trying to waste plates. <laughs> you don't have to call out Bella. And then Javen's here enjoying his meal. So after we're done, we're gonna go ahead and bring groceries in mm-hmm. while I, while the children are while I put Missy here down for her nap, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I guess this is how we're putting things away. So yes, we went to Aldi. That is my favorite store to go to. I love this salmon. It's so good, so tasty. I would totally recommend it. Hmm. I would keep those for downstairs or something. Coffee creamer. Love this coffee creamer. You guys see it? Yeah. That's so good. <coughs> good. It's a lot going on today, people. Just came back from running errands and I forgot I had a Zoom call. <laughs> so
So I'm like listening while trying to put things away and I'm like trying to talk to you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Look what I found at um, Ross. Like for natural hair. I've been looking for this brush, but I saw it at Walmart for like two, three dollars, and this whole thing was ten dollars. I was putting some more stuff away there. If you know Norwegians, well, specifically Amundsen's cheese, baby. Cheese, yeah. Cheese. So we're gonna work on putting all this stuff away. Oh, these are the shoes I got Ellie. Uh oh. Her very first Puma. And then these are Bella's. So she's gonna match Ellie. And then some summer shoes for Ellie. I can show you. And then some clothes over there for the kids and their choir. These are the bands that. Oh, yeah, Jacob got bands. Those things are sick. Right there. Oh, yeah, we are matching bands. Yep. Yeah. Will this look good with Patsy, though? Yeah. So, a lot going on, but it's all it's all good things. We didn't find a button down for Javen, so that's the one I have to order. But guys, like, a what? Hmm? A what? Button down. Remember? Well, I have, I have a big one and I have a polo. Oh yeah. So I don't think I have to order it. Then it's fine. I think we compromised and allowed Javen to get a big, big one and a polo. So that should suffice. Hey guys, it would really help us if you watch this video right here and keep looking up.